example, in this country, Pacifica Radio, where I originally came out of. You know, Pacifica was founded in 1949 in Berkeley, California, by a war resistor named Lou Hill. He came out of the detention camps and he said, there has to be a media outlet that is not run by corporations that profit from war. Um, that is not run by corporations as George Gerbner, um, founder of the cultural environment movement, former dean at the Annenberg School of Communications, University of Pennsylvania, said, not run by corporations that have nothing to tell and everything to sell that are raising our children today. So Pacifica was born, the first station KPFA in Berkeley in 1949, second station 10 years later in Los Angeles, 59, uh, KPFK. 1960 WBAI in New York, 1977 WPFW in Washington, and 1970 KPFT in Houston. Those are the five Pacifica stations. Um, they are the original models of listener sponsorship, that you turn to the listener and you say, please, if you appreciate what you hear, you don't have to agree with everything, but if you appreciate this forum for people to debate and discuss the critical issues of the day, please support it. Um, KPFT, when it went on the air in 1970, um, within a few months, uh, this small station in Houston was blown off the air. Um, the Ku Klux Klan blew it up. They strapped dynamite to the base of the transmitter. And I don't know if it was the Exalted Cyclops or the Grand Dragon, because I often confuse their titles. But they said it was their proudest act. I think because they understood how dangerous Pacifica is. Dangerous because it allows people to speak for themselves. And when you hear someone speaking for themselves, it breaks down the bigotry, the hatred, the caricatures that fuel the hate groups. I think that is a very important model. Now, public radio and television adopted it. National Public Radio and PBS, you know, we all know the listener and viewer fund drives on the air, but they tended to move away from that, and they're going to corporate underwriting um, uh, more and more. But Pacific has remained true to that idea of listener sponsorship, and I think that is a critical model um, for authentic, independent media in this country and around the world.